What is going on, Ive Warriors? This is your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about a new Harvard study that shows how intermittent fasting can increase your lifespan. Stay tuned. Okay, what's going on, Ive Warriors? Let's just get right into the meat and bones of this study conducted in Harvard. Utilizing some lab tests, they can see how specifically the longevity or the increase in lifespan can occur with intermittent fasting. So this study looks at the mitochondria of an organism. Due to the interest of time, the organism that they use in this study is called the C. elegans, or as you may know them, a nematode worm. And the nematode worms only can live for about a week, which is perfect because you get to see the full lifespan from birth to death within a span of about a week while interjecting this intermittent fasting protocol. And that's exactly what they did. This is a micro, micro, micro study as this is studying the basic biology found inside of a cell. The problem with bodily cells within the mitochondria is that they tend to slow down and have a declining ability to process energy over time, which is aging. You get older, those cells become weaker. And it's not just aging, it's also age-related diseases. Stuff like Alzheimer's, arthritis, things that can happen to your body after the wear and tear of just time and the cells not being able to function as effectively as they did before. So why is the mitochondria important in determining the lifespan of an organism? You see, the mitochondria is the energy producing structure inside of a cell. And these things dynamically change shape according to energy demand but it also starts to decline in its effectiveness to do that as you age. But the importance of this study is that the impact that that has had on the metabolism and your cellular functions were previously unclear. The researchers in this study shows you the changes in the shape of the mitochondrial networks and longevity. So what did these scientists do? They did two things, either one, restricted energy using intermittent fasting or mimic intermittent fasting through genetic manipulation of an energy sensing protein called activated protein kinase, the AMPK. So there's two states that your mitochondrial levels can stay in. It can be a fragment state or it can be a fuse state. Now the fragment states are found mostly in people that are overweight, uh, people that carry more body fat on their bodies, they tend to have a fragmented uh, mitochondrial cell system where it's all over the place in different locations. And people that tend to be skinnier or have less fat in their body, they have a more fused mitochondrial network inside of their bodies. But when they tested them through using the intermittent fasting protocol, they noticed that some of the fragmented cells were transforming themselves into the fused cell or the youthful cell. They call it the youthful cell because it promotes anti-aging as well as combat aging health problems. It starts to promote the metophagy, and that's another layer deep than autophagy. It cleans even within the process of autophagy deeper than that, and it's like a micro autophagy that's happening inside of the cell. So not only do we know now that you can promote autophagy, you can promote metophagy, which is even more of the cleaning out and removing or fixing cells that are damaged within cells that are damaged. It's like inception, but on a much, much, much smaller scale. So what happened? Simple. Every single nematode worm that they interjected this protocol for lived longer. And when this protocol was not interjected, the worms died faster and aged Quicker. Associated Professor of Genetics and Complex Diseases, William Mayer, stated this quote coming off of this research. Although previous work has showed how intermittent fasting can slow aging, we are only beginning to understand the underlying biology. Our work shows how crucial the plasticity of the mitochondrial networks for the benefits of fasting. So this is very important, guys. These studies are getting us closer and closer to understanding exactly why people at the age of 100 plus years old can run a full marathon 
without a problem. People who have been fasting all their lives, not necessarily on purpose, but because of matter of circumstance, but yet they live long, healthy, and energetic lives. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited about studies like this that tackle that deeper, deeper understanding of the biology of what's going on with intermittent fasting. It is a very extensive study and it will be linked in the description. You can go ahead and click it and you can view the study for yourself. Absolutely amazing. And of course, I wanna thank the patrons on my Patreon. I'm gonna put them up right here. Thank you so much guys, I really appreciate all your help. Thank you guys, and of course, if you wanna support me, you can go ahead and support me on Patreon. There are amazing rewards, and the live Q&As only happen uh, exclusively for Patreon members. See you guys on Sunday. Peace.